that if I was a CEO of a company right now, I would sit with my black employees and hear their stories. And everyone's story is different and really come up with an action plan on what we can do to make the workplace better for black employees. One thing that I have been witnessing and noticing is how many cor big corporations, as well as small companies, are sending out, you know, every email that I, email list or company I've ever purchased something from is sending out a, I'm standing in solidarity, Black Lives Matter email. And it looks very much like a template and a copy and paste. For, and I think there really needs to be education programs put into the black community at a, at a, at a very early age. We have, we're, we're behind. We need to be given the opportunity to accelerate. And, you know, these, these, whether it's, you know, uh, internships, mentorships, opportunities to, to black in individuals specifically, so that they can start to learn about these fields, so that they can have uh, some sort of education and, and, and know what they're getting into and be able to, to to compete. People in the workplace who are looking to um, black people for advice, they need to be compensated for their time because so many black people in the workplace are doing stuff for many reasons. So it's a better experience for them, for their peers, but we are tired, we are triggered, we're exhausted. So pay us. One of the things that I often hear when it comes to hiring a black person is, okay, let's go ahead and take a chance on them, or we're gonna take the risk and go ahead and hire them. And sometimes I think people think that's a compliment, but to me personally, in my career, I felt like, you know, I've come with this many accomplishments. I've done this, I've done that. And for you to feel like, you know what, let's go ahead and take a risk and hire them. I, I just don't feel like we're being looked at on, the, on an even term.